All right, Shalom. Before we start, I would like to say, Kal Halal Yahweh Bashem Hamashiach Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakah Kadash. I pray, Amen. Please, Father God, I pray that you will be protecting all of humanity, natures, animals, including all of our second and third enemies, who are the Edomites and the fo their followers. <sighs> Protect them against their their uh, against our big enemies. Of course, but do not protect them against ours, like against their own big enemies. Like, you know, don't send angels to protect them against the Lord or against other angels. Absolutely not. But only to protect themselves against the ones who they worship, which is uh, the Lucifer and all of their demons. I pray, Father God, that you will be. Um, uh, by the way, this Christ is not my house. My mother, she put it because she thinks uh, the. Edomite red Jesus is a true God, okay? Well, this is not my house, okay? So, so yeah, man, today um, is a very quick video about, you know, how to do it. Um, we all, as real, original, and foreigner Israelites, we all need to, uh, you know, pray offensively every single day, bro. Preaching, okay? Telling people at least one-on-one -on -one privately, if it's not publicly, uh, number two thing, this is the second important thing, is worshiping the Lord when it comes to waging, sending the angels uh, to be waging spiritual warfares and mental and physical warfares to against all of our big and small enemies, especially in the physical realm against all of our big enemies and the spiritual realm against all of our big enemies. Then the Lord will take care of the small enemies, right? Um, by t by sending the angels. So when you pray, you are you are uh, the Lord. You're not giving allowances to the Lord. The Lord will be giving allowances to His angels to do whatever you want them to be doing against all of your big and small enemies. That's why every prayer I ended with, Lord, allow your angels and allow yourself, like you, Lord, do whatever you want to be doing of all of the above of the righteous behaviors, all of the above of the righteous behaviors and all of the above of... All of the above of the types of righteousness that you want to be doing to against all of our big and small enemies and always do it offensively and always not only take revenges but take vengeance to against all of our big enemies now to against our small enemies if you want to take vengeance up to you I don't concentrate about praying against my small enemies including the Edomites but I only pray against their demons and against the demons who controls their demons all right uh, which is, I'm pretty sure there is the top strongest type of demons who control other demons, who control the other other demons, who controls the Satan's worshippers, who are the Edomites and the non-Edomites. So, always main focus against the demons, then against the uh, Edomites, but not all Edomites. There is the non-violent ones. Uh, you don't pray against these people, because they're doing, hey, you gotta respect their behaviors by they no longer worship Satan, they no longer want to be committing wickedness at all against others. They are... They choose to switch to the non-violent side, but they're devils at the end of the day. Just like deep inside, I want, I'm want i a non-violent person. I want, who do I want to? And of course the Lord, who do they want to? And of course Satan, right? Um, so you're looking at a non-violent snake. Do you pray against these type of people who are non-violent? No, you don't. Okay, because you got to respect and love their uh, non-wicked behaviors, righteous behaviors by no longer... Uh, wanting to be committing wickedness to against others, no longer uh, worship Satan. They stopped on worshiping Satan. Um, they choose to switch to the non-violent side compared to the violent ones. Those like the tough guys, they always want to pick up troublemakers, whatever. Whether they are the authority figures or just regular people like career criminals who they get protected by the authority figures, right? Because they're all Satanists at the end of the day. Um, those people... They are yes longer wanting to be committing wickedness to against others because they never choose to switch to the non-violent side. They stay remaining as the violent side. So they yes longer want to be committing wickedness to against others and uh, they are the worshippers. They worship Satan in the present moment. Unlike the non-violent, they no longer worship Satan. But the violent ones, they worship Satan in the present moment. The non-violent one, they no longer worship Satan. They stopped. The violent ones, since they are the worshippers to the devil in the present moment, so that makes themselves to be 
that makes their selves to be the worship uh, that that makes their selves to be um they are worshiping the devil currently so they are the worshipers to the devil currently in the present moments the, the nonviolent ones they uh, no longer worship satan so they worship so they they are the worshipers to the devil stopped they no longer worship satan so that's why you don't you got to respect the nonviolent evil nonviolent psychopaths edomites behaviors cuz hey they're living their life just like everybody else they're you know they're loving their parents they they're loving their parents their children they no longer commit pedophilia against their own children uh, they no longer um, their children want their daddy and mommy to be giving them whatever they want because their children are also perverted they're the opposite of pedophiles so they're like a child a psychopathic child okay he also wants to uh, have a sexual intercourse with adults and the psychopathic adult he wants to have sexual intercourse with uh, children right so you know what I mean? So when both are non-violent, but all starts with the parent. If the parent is violent, then they will force and encourage their children to become to be violent like their selves. That's why when, as soon as their child born, two months, three months later, they force him or force her to uh, slaughter an animal, slaughter someone else by doing this. And they, and they say to him, if you don't do that, then you will be stabbed. So there is no innocence. Either you will become victim or guilty. Pick one, right? And uh, so the child, of course, he's, you know, he's, in fact, even the adults, right? They don't want to get hurt. They would much rather hurt other, others, right? Um, so that's why it's all start from the parents. If the parents are violent, then most likely, hi, how are you doing? Then most likely, just once, I'm recording. Can you give me like two minutes? So, thank you. So most likely, if their parents are violent, then their children will become to be similar, same as their parents, also violent. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, and if the, the parents are, you know, not violent, then they will disallow their children to become to be violent most of the, most of the times, unless if their children listen to other, like, unless if their children, they want to become to be violent. Hey, I'm, I'm the devil. I'll, it's cool to be a, an evil person, right? Um, so that, then they will do it, honestly, uh, to be honest with you. But it all starts from the parents most of the time, so um, it is what it is, right? Thank God that they're, these enemies, they will not get tormented for the rest of their lives. It's going to be only a thousand years because let's say if Moab or Ishmael were the wicked, then they, then they would have been committing the similar same wicked behaviors as the Edomites, behalf of Satan to against others. So should you criticize... The, the violent Edomites behave is absolutely, but not criticize their selves as people, you know, let them do whatever they want to do. Um, because this is the only way for Satan to commit wickedness. Um, respect their free will, of course, but disrespect and hate their behaviors. And the nonviolent ones, hey, my heart goes to these people because they're at least they choose to switch to the nonviolent side, but the violent ones they need to choose and switch to the violent, nonviolent side, but they will never do it, right? So it is what it is. Honestly, these Edomites, I'm grateful and thankful to the Lord that they will not get punished after the millennium. Even though they're going to attack us after, before the Lord is about to be going to be exterminating them. Um, but uh, they're not going to get severely punished in hell. And I don't think they deserve it because, um, well, I think they deserve it actually. But hey, it's Satan's fault, right? If Satan did not rebel against the Lord, then, then the Lord would have created this enemy to be one of the to be neutral, one of the children of men, just like the Arabs, the Ishmaelites, uh, the Chinese, the Elam, the Japanese, so so on and so forth, right? The Africans. So, should you blame these enemies for their wickedness? Hmm. I don't think so, because they're. I I think so actually that the violent ones, but uh, it's all. The one who they worship, it's his fault because he rebelled against the Lord. So if he did not rebel against the Lord, then there there would have been no Satan. So they would have been created anyways, whether to be the children of Satan or the children of men. But hey, it's it's it's, it's their God's fault, right? It's Lucifer's fault. Because think about it. The Lord kicked 
Satan from heaven. At that time, there was no Jacob and Esau. There was like Abraham, Isaac, they were all uh, Negroes, but there was like Israelites, but there was no Edomites. So Edomites started from Cain. I don't think it's from Esau, right? So imagine if Esau is a Chinese man, then we would have bit criticized and hate it, which I don't hate, but most of the people, they would have hated the uh, Chinese for being wicked, right? Um, so yeah, man, it is what it is, right? Um, let them enjoy their heaven. Um, let them do whatever. And they will pay. And it's not going to be permanently. But thank God that the one who they worship, they're about to be going to be getting severely punished in the millennium. It's going to be more than double in hell permanently whether they eat or not thank god their punishment is not going to be severe compared to hell right so it's going to be by 200 percent double and it's going to be in the millennium not in the hell the angels will be doing the punishment so make a video and uh and it's going to be in the millennium it's going to be temporarily okay so thank you so much guys god bless you yahweh willing